Hey everyone, Steve Mosley here, your EdTech coach with a short video on how you can go paperless in your classroom using Google Slides for your vocabulary lists. And it's easy to do. Um, and again, you'll be reducing how much paper you're collecting, how much paper is being thrown around in your classroom and in such. So what I've done here is I've created a vocabulary Google Slides. And so all you're gonna do really is just, I would recommend do, taking the first slide and write chapter five vocabulary or whatever chapter, of course, or topic that you're working on. That'll be your first slide. And then the students will put the term at the top, whatever that term might be. And then in the slide, they'll include the definition, the sentence. And if you want them to include a picture, all they have to do is go over and click insert and image. And they can just simply search on the web for a picture. Now in this case, I just simply typed in the word pictures and that's came up and it's really easy to do. I'm using my iPad, but students can use their Chromebooks to select a picture and just simply drag it over into their Google Slides. In this case, I have a slow internet connection, so it's gonna take a moment to display here, but then they'll have the picture. And if you want them to include more than one, they just repeat. So another picture that might be relevant, you're gonna select a picture and kind of drag it over and insert it that way. So the students will have the pictures, you'll have a definition and a sentence and a term, and then just repeat for the next slide. At the very top, students will write the term, include a definition and a sentence, and again, just simply drag a picture over. Let's drag a picture over in creating their vocabulary list. So again, each slide will pertain to a vocabulary word. So if there's 10, 15 vocabulary words, they just include it in their Google Slides and they can turn it in that way. One thing you can do is if you want, you can pre-make the Google Slides vocabulary and distribute it to your students, each getting a copy through Classroom. Or in the assignment, students can simply create their own Google Slides and do it that way. So there's really two ways you can have students do their vocabulary on Google Slides. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope